<clears throat> it is Tuesday. Them toes, them toes, them dry toes, them toes, them toes, them dry toes, them toes, them toes, them dry toes. They're the fairest of them all. What? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Welcome to Tuesday. It's a very exciting, very informative day of the week. We talk about toes. Um, so yeah, so if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment down below. If you don't want to subscribe, you definitely can like, yes, it, it pushes my videos out, algorithm does take effect and, and push the content out for me. So kindly go ahead and like this video. Also follow me on all my socials, that's Instagram and TikTok, at Bare Beauty Services. If you like small content, short content, you can't bother with a long business, you can't bother with my talking first of all. You can definitely hop on, on my TikTok, um, that's Bare Beauty Services, as I said, you will see very short clips, 20, 15, it all depends on how I choose to edit the video, right? But it's very short and effective. So I'm going in with the ceramic bit, removing the old gel polish of my nails. Also, one of the reasons as to why I'm doing a refill right now because if there wasn't a break on my nails, I think I could pull another maybe a week or two. But because there was a crack and it wasn't giving me what I wanted, it was just looking very ratty and very ghetto at this point. So I decided that yo, I'm gonna take it off. And one of the other reasons is that I wanted to see how my nails are doing under. Because if you watch previous video, you would see the method that I was doing. Um, if you want to see that video, I will definitely link it in the icons if you're very interested about it or down in the description down below. So last week we applied two nails to my nails. So I created, I used two nails to create one um, press on. Does that make sense? I mean, go and watch the video for it, for you to understand. Because I sound as though I am confusing you and confusing myself at this point. But yes, it was successful, which I'm really happy about. So it's a method that you can probably think about if you don't have, you know, persons as big as your toe. You know, you can incorporate, um, be very innovative with your your thinking and just make things work for you. Don't wait for stuff to come for it to work. You know, that's what I do. That's what I love. I like being hands-on. I like make, taking opportunities where I don't have the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So I was very happy about what I did, to be honest with you. Very happy. So also, this video is not going to be edited. I think I don't, I don't have a video on here, actually, in real time. So this here is a perfect opportunity to you know for it to be in real time to see it, to show you guys how i really do um work um some of this video is going to be trimmed up a little bit because some of the work is a little bit excessive and repetitive you already know how i feel about that i'm not about to be out here boiling people um with my filing some people may find it satisfactory or satisfying <laughs> So I'm going to trim up here and there, but I'm not going to trim up all the video. I want you guys to see how I work in real time and how effective I do. This video might seem shorter than expected, but because, um, as I said, it's repetitive. I don't want the motions to be in there as much. So there's going to be break here, break there, break everywhere. So yeah, but it's still somewhat in a real time. So yeah, so one of the indications to, you know, me doing my toes is that yeah the weeks have passed um i can't see the top of my toes i that's one if even if like three weeks pass and i still can see the top of my toes i am good yeah but in this instance i couldn't see the top of my toes and i i feel uncomfortable like putting my foot in shoes just doing little things stubbing my toes that's what i'm let me tell you, we're not going to even go there. Stopping your toes with long nails is uncomfortable and very painful. And I don't want that to be me. Yeah? Because I'm prone to bucking up my toe pad things already. So having long toes on my... No. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And um, also, I experimented on... My toes, if you, as I said before, if you haven't seen that video, I definitely get it in the icons below or above, whichever. 
and i think the other thing is that my toes were looking very dry on on kid four and as a hot girl you know <laughs> i need to not my toes don't even look like that to be honest with you and the polish the gel polish was getting old and stale it wasn't looking as white as how i had originally started out with so i i needed it to be touched up i needed to get it together so that's what we're doing in today's video so i'm taking that bit that same bit to do everything so i'm taking down the nails i am removing the air pockets around each of the nail so if you didn't know like all the, if you're putting acrylic gel press on you're going to always have air pockets on your nail under your nail or under the polish whatever so we're going to use the bit we're going to use the very tip of the bit to lift off the air pockets off each of the nails ensuring that we don't have any of that on there to cause any form of lifting or lifting water under there moisture under there infection bacteria start building under there so that's one of the reasons why also i wanted to go ahead and refill my toes is because i had done some experimenting and i wanted to ensure that nothing was going under my toes and it was very successful to be honest with you so if you want if this is something that you want to try out definitely go ahead as i said you need to be innovative you need to know how to use your hands make fashion you know i used to preach that in my earlier days on youtube and i'm still with it you need to create be innovative and stuff like that so we're going in with the drill we cleaning up around the area you know how i feel about this i preach it if you're new to my channel um i like to go in with this bit because what it does is helps to comfort me almost like it it's painless and it helps me when I, to speed up the process of pushing back the cuticles because as you may know that pushing back cuticles is very uncomfortable and painful to some and I am a, a one of those so I tend to go in with my this cuticle bit here to ease the skin off my nails and help me to push it back and then I'll go with my cuticle uh, my, my cuticle pusher to push it back I'm also using this round ball bit. I'm um, not quite sure, but it's quite effective in terms of also helping to push back the cuticles. I did a research on this actually. So yeah, I did. I, I, what it was was it removed dead skin off. It can. I think it is a multi-purpose type of tool. It can. It's a very safe bit to be honest. You can use it on top of your nails. It does not do any harm. It removes dead skin from around the nail itself. Uh, yeah, on top of the skin area where you can have dry areas. So yeah, quite effective. Many things it can help push back the cuticles, and it also can go on top of the the, the nail. Not on top of the nail, on top of the skin around the nail. So yeah. So we're going to use our sanding band. I think this is like the second. This is maybe the 150 grit bit and I'm going in so as I said if this is something that you do on a regular basis the bit the sanding band bit don't necessarily need to be aggressive so you can use a much smoother softer file on your nails because I was working with product on top of my nails I use a more hardier bit but not too hard so it's just between 180 and 180 so yeah so i'm going in with my what do you call this now the file straightening up the nails just being you know very mindful that you know i don't create an avenue for ingrowing i like to take my nails off my skin so that's why i will usually go in the, on the side of my nails i also like the shape of you know the aesthetics of the nail is is a little bit on the sh the straighter side so i tend to do that a lot with my nails ensure that some of the nails are curled because i don't like when the nail them hook up the sheet you hear me it's very uncomfortable so we want to ensure that it's rounded out it's off my nail and i don't create an avenue for ingrown toenails so. 
So we're gonna brush away that dust of the nails and we're going to go in with some beautiful primer. So you know you have a primer in the nails just to ensure that there's no grease, there's no residue that's left on the nail. Um, so we want to, in, um, to apply our primer onto the nail. I tend to do this twice. You don't necessarily have to do it twice. But some persons do, um, have two type of primers. They have a drying agent type of primer and they have a sticky base primer. I mean, if you want to use the two, you can go ahead and use the two. It's quite so what I'm going to backfill with is a hard gel. This is from uh, this is IBD gel. I think that's IBD gel. Yes, that's correct. I was using IBD gel. I like the Savlon one that I had, or I still have, but it's quite very hard. I need a bit more harder to work with. Yeah, it's not my cup of tea. But I definitely like, like the IBD gel. It's hard, but it's not hard to work with. It's clear that it's not hard to work with. I actually use this with a regular um, brush to apply it. I think with a Savlon, I don't think I would have been able to do it. I think I would have to find one of my um, one of my hard gel brush to apply the product on the nail. So thank God that I got both of them. So I went in with a regular brush to apply this and I was very careful when I was working in the, um, the cuticle area because once you, um, once you cure this nail and if it's all run up in your cuticles, it's going to be there for a little bit. So ensure that you work with less in the cuticle and more on the stress point area because as, as it, soon as they start growing, you know, as I said, it's a it's, it's, it's the same application for acrylic, same method, same direction. You want to add more into your stretch point area, not because it's your tools that you're working with. You still need to add. You still need to protect that area on the nail. So you want to add less to the cuticle area because that's that's not a problem. But we want to add more on the surface where the, the stress is on the nail. So after we're done, we're going to cure this for 60 seconds, remove that tacky layer off the nails, and then we go in with our filing portion. So this part should be a drop in the bucket because you didn't work very closely to the cuticle area. So going over with the e-file should be not long. Um, also, I was very mindful because the toes actually had on press-ons what usually occur I mean this is kind of a test the water type situation because usually they will go ahead and remove the entire press-on itself what I did here is to go ahead and refill on the press-ons which worked out to be honest with you I really didn't have a problem with um, I will know on the next time that I do re, re um refill on this set here to see how effective. I don't think it sh it would be a problem to be honest with you. Um, see, I really don't think it would be a problem. Um, there will, yeah, as long as I work fairly good. I think I could also go over with acrylic on these nails. I don't think it's a big deal to be honest with you if I did refill on persons i thought it was just weird in my head that i needed to remove but i was also sampling testing all the water to see how you know it would look with refilling the nails and i actually wanted to see the after effect after my toes grow out to see how they're doing with this method so the the bit that i'm using the sun brand that i'm using is actually 200 i keep on mixing up these things i think it may be the 180 which is the, the softest file that i have yeah so i didn't need much aggressive filing because as i said this gel was actually very soft but very sturdy so i didn't need any aggressive filing and my application was very flawless so i didn't need aggressive filing as i said so yes 
we are winding down this kit of fuel so we're going, i did brush away the residue after filing i didn't go ahead and buff because i actually wanted this polish to stick to the nail without using any base coat so i did have problems in the past with the and self it's it, yo it was this product is very hard to work with and if you're a beginner and you know, know nothing about it definitely definitely do leave after you finish with the filing stage leave it do not buff out the um the grit out of the nail because that's what's going to um use as an adhesive for the product to stay in its place so yeah so i didn't go ahead and buff the nails i went in and applied it um applied this pretty pretty color to my nails very gorgeous color it wasn't the ideal color that i wanted um at the get-go i wanted a little bit more shocking color but this was workable so i i allowed this to stay for another three three weeks this name is a going right now like by the time you're watching it another video is on its way so make sure you subscribe to the channel like you don't have to comment you also don't have to subscribe just like the video like it tell a friend like it yeah also follow me on my socials just instagram and tiktok at bare beauty services if you're someone who is into short -term clips and you're not in the bag of long talking you're not in a that definitely follow me on my tiktok the shorter content straight to the point very effective if you know that you're a person who likes to hear me talk i appreciate it um so yeah so after that, I will go ahead and cure for 60 seconds, do a second coating, cure for 60 seconds. So each coating is 60 seconds with this um, polish right here. And then I'll go ahead and top coat my nails, cure, obviously, and then we oil the cuticles. Yeah, this is a vibe. Now ready for touch wood right now. Presentable, very, very presentable to the world. Um, those white nails after three weeks, four weeks, they wouldn't do me justice. I'm very happy that I got this out of the way. My toes, them looking suckable <laughs> at this point. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you like videos like this, definitely stick around, subscribe to my channel, like, and you see more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time.